हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सिलिकॉन साइंट एरो इंडिया इज अ बाइनियल एयर शो एंड एविएशन एग्जीबिशन हेल्ड इन बेंगलुरु एट द एलामका एयरफोर्स स्टेशन इट इज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय द डिफेंस एग्जीबिशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हिच इज अ प्राइड ऑफ इंडिया 13th edition of Aero India 2021 will be held from 3rd to 5th February at the Air Force Station in Alahanka, Bengaluru. Aero India exhibition is organized every alternate year. It is one of the major exhibitions for aerospace and defense industries with a public air show. It enables industry professionals to announce new developments and gain media coverage. Aero India offers a unique platform to international aviation sector to bolster business. Six hundred exhibitors are going to take part in this air show, which includes five twenty-two Indian exhibitors and seventy-eight foreign exhibitors. In the display of sixty-one aircraft. Major highlights of Aero India twenty twenty-one are the Sukhoi Su thirty is a twin-jet multi-role air superiority fighter developed by Russia Sukhoi and built under license by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the Indian Air Force. It is a heavy all-weather long-range fighter. Its high agility allows rapid development of weapons in any direction as desired by the crew. The air refueling system increases the flight duration up to 10 halves with a range of 8000 km at a cruise height of 11 to 13 km. Its maximum speed is 2120 km per hour. The MiG-21 is a supersonic jet fighter and interceptor aircraft designed by the Mikoyan Gerovich Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. India is the largest operator of MiG-21. In 1961, the Indian Air Force opted to purchase the MiG-21 over several other western competitors. It is the most produced supersonic jet aircraft in aviation history. Also on 27 February 2019, Abhinandan Vartaman was flying a MiG-21 against an offensive entry into India by a Pakistani aircraft. It can attain a maximum speed of 2175 km per hour. Surya Kiran is an aerobatic demonstration team of the Indian Air Force. The Surya Kiran aerobatic team was formed in 1996 and are a part of the 52 squadron of the Indian Air Force. The aerobatics includes turns, wing overs, loops and barrel rolls in various nine craft formations. The formation splits into two groups to carry out a variety of maneuvers like splits, level and rolling crosses, inverted runs and the hurt loop. Aerobatic display is also used to create parallel and horizontal flight designs, releasing colors of the Indian flag using aerosols and popular patterns like the heart and arrow. Tejas is an Indian single engine fourth generation multi-role fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency. in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited its flexibility permits a variety of guided air to surface and anti shipping weapons to be integrated for multi role and multi mission capabilities the tailless compound delta platform is designed to be small and lightweight saring is the helicopter air display team of the indian air force that flies four modified hil dhruv helicopters The sarang name is symbolic to the peacock which is the national bird of India. Its aerial stunts are fascinating to see. In this edition, the combination of Surya Kiran and Sarang will be seen for the first time in the history of Aero India show. Rafale is a French twin-engine multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. The fully versatile Rafale is able to carry out all combat aviation missions such as air superiority, air defense, close air support, anti-ship strikes and nuclear deterrence. In September 2016, India entered a direct deal with the French government to purchase 36 new Rafale fighter jets in a 7.87 billion euro deal. The exhibition timings are as follows. Tickets can be purchased from the official website and the link will be given in the description. The ticket costs rupees 500 per person. All COVID-19 related guidelines to be followed strictly. That's it for today guys. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel.